हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सटेंड माय वार्मेस्ट विशेष एंड वेलकम टू यू ऑल ऑन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ आवर क्लास लेट मी फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ इफ मी प्रतीक्षा दुलाल एंड आई एम हियर टू टीच यू साइंस ऑफ ग्रेट फाइव सो Our unit is five, and our topic is life process. So today we are going to learn about the life processes in our body. So first is life process in animal and in plants. So before going through it, all of you take out your book and copy in front of you. and turn on page number 53 first we are going to learn first topic that is life process in animal and in plants so do you know what keeps us alive have you ever thought of what keeps you alive so the processes the, there are different processes processes there are different activities which are run in our body that keeps us alive so what keeps us alive the different processes or activities that run in our body keeps us alive so now we will go through our book the processes run even when we are walking nothing when while we are doing nothing and even we when we are sleeping so this process will run even when we are doing nothing and even when we are sleeping so this process will run in our body they run automatically and we ca cannot stop these works in our body at our will so similar processes occur in plant also as well as to keep them alive so similar processes run in plant also and in animal also which keep them alive so the life process is the different activities that run in our body to keeps us alive is called life process so there are different activities which is run in our body that keeps us alive that is called life process all of you note it down in your copy this is very important so our new topic is nutrition and digestion so as we know all living things need food why do we need food do you know why do we need food obviously we need food to grow to get energy to repair our bodies and to keep us healthy so we need food to grow to get energy to repair our bodies as well as to keep us healthy so we all living things need food okay i'm reading a book on page number 53 second paragraph on second paragraph the food we eat does not have only essential substances it also have unnecessary substances also so the food we eat have necessary substances also as well as unnecessary substances also so our food consists of large molecules which need to be broken into the simpler pieces so our food in our food it can it consists of the large molecules which need to be broken into the smaller pieces so when digestive system break food digestive system break food and separate it separate necessary as well as unnecessary substances so what is the definition of the digestion the breaking of food into the simpler substances and absorbing useful substances also and getting rid of wastes 
that is called digestion. So, the process of separating useful substances as well as unnecessary, non useful, or you can say unnecessary or necessary substances in a food that is called digestion. So, necessary substances they are absorbed by our body, and the unnecessary substances are thrown out of our body. So, the whole process is called digestive system and the digestive system breaks the food and it separates necessary substances as well as unnecessary substances and the necessary substances they are absorbed by our body whereas unnecessary substances are thrown or out of our body. Now all of you look at this chart. So here is the diagram of human digestive system you can look on this chart. So I will describe it and this figure is given in your book also you can look on your book on page number 53. So first part of the human digestive, human digestive system is mouth. Mouth it helps to grain food, grain food mouth helps to green food and mix it soft food as well as it makes the food soft by making by mixing with saliva saliva when it took took some mix it is it helps to green food easily so the next one is food when we eat food it will go to the food pipe second one is food pipe it passes food from mouth to the stomach so the food will pass through the food pipe from mouth to the stomach then the next one is stomach you can look in this trigram or if it isn't clear then you can look on your book also then the next one is stomach stomach food are mixed in the stomach with the acid and digestive juices so food will go to the stomach then here is pancreas pancreas it supply digestive juices in the small intestine so pancreas supply digestive juices in the small intestine whereas in small intestine you can look in this diagram here is the small intestine in small intestine food is digested so food is digested in small intestine and nutrients are absorbed by the wall so that nutrients will absorb by the walls as well as there is the large intestine it absorbs water so large intestine absorbs water which is needed for our body and there is rectum rectum is that part of the human digestive system which store the unwanted liquid so unwanted liquid are stored in the human digestive system you can look in this diagram here is the rectum it stores the unwanted stool unwanted solids stools then their last part is anus so anus in anus unwanted or unnecessary solid faces means stool which is thrown out from here so anus is that part of digestive system where the unnecessary solids are thrown out from the anus so these are so this is the diagram of the human digestive system and i have already described it about the mouth there is food pipe stomach pancreas large intestine and small intestine whereas rectum and anus so this is the diagram of the human digestive system so what is digest digestion the breaking of food into the simpler substance and absorbing useful substance and getting rid of wastes so that is called the digestion now we will move towards the next topic that is breathing and respiration that is breathing and respiration
so look on page number 54 i will explain explain it so breathing and respiration the digestion food the digested food is carried by the blood so the digested food is carried by the blood to our different parts of our body so this food need to be burned to get energy so what we are eating the food and that food should be burned to get us energy so this work is done by the gas that is called oxygen what is the oxygen gas that gas which we breathe in so this process is done by this gas that is oxygen so the gas enters through our nose so the oxygen gas enters through our nose it is filtered inside the nose and then passes to the lungs and that gas will passes through the lungs through the windpipe so that gas enters through our nose and it will be filtered inside it then it passes to the lungs through the windpipe you can look at the diagram of the human respiratory system you can look at this diagram as well as this diagram is given in your book also on page number 55 so so we inhale the air oxygen from the nose and from the mouth also from mouth we breathe out the air and from nose we get into our body air is get into our body so so it is go through the windpipe so that air or that oxygen is go through the windpipe and it passes so windpipe means that passes air from the pharynx to lungs so this is lungs which absorb oxygen that mixes with blood so oxygen gas will go enters to the nose and it will filter there and it passes to the lungs through the help of this wind pipe so the lungs lies inside the chest cavity so the lungs lies inside the chest cavity the gas is mixed with the blood that oxygen glass is, gas is mixed with the blood and carried to the different parts of our body where the food is born with oxygen so oxygen helps to bond the food and it will gives us energy then the last paragraph all of you look on page number 54 after the food is burned by the oxygen so food is burned by the oxygen and it is changed into the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide gas so carbon dioxide gas is that gas which we breathe out we breathe out carbon di carbon dioxide gas through our mouth so we inhale oxygen from our nose and we throw back carbon dioxide gas through our mouth so plant also need the oxygen gas for respiration the preparation of food by photosynthesis so plant need carbon dioxide gas that we throw the car carbon dioxide gas then plant will take that carbon di carbon dioxide gas and throw back oxygen gas and we will take that oxygen gas in this way air is inhaled and exhaled so the gas we breathe in that is called inhaled air and whereas the gas we breathe out is called exhaled gas so the inhaled gas is oxygen and exhaled gas is carbon dioxide gas okay this class today this much for today i will give some homework for you all so homework for you is what is life process so there are different system which is run in our life process digestive system respiratory system as well as circulatory system then the second one is define digestion
then the third one is list of the parts of human digestive system as well as list of the parts of human respiratory so these are some question for your homework okay this much for today thank you have a nice day